Okay. Long story short, it asks you to show the equation of P. What is P? P is a line. It wants the equation of the line. I write down the equation of the line formula. Now, here's what we're going to do. First things first, I'm going to find the slope. Because I need three parts for this to work. I need y1 and um, an x1. I can make a, I can choose either point to be x1 and y1. I can choose this one to be x1 and y1, or I can choose this one to be x1 and y1. It really doesn't matter. I'll get the same answer. Okay. Now, regards to slope, I'm going to need x2 and y2. So I'm going to do y2 minus y1 all over x2 minus x1. Right, and I'm going to get 0, take away b, 0, take away b, and then it's going to be x2, which is a, take away 0. And the slope is minus b over a. So I can take that right in here. Next thing I'm going to do is replace x1 with 0, because I'm going to use this point here. And then I'm going to replace y1 with b. Yep. What we're going to do next is, oof, looks like a tough one. I'm going to be y minus b equals minus b over a times x. Happy days. Now, if we look at the question, the question wants x and y over one side and the number over the other side. So I'm going to move x and y onto one side. So this one has an x, so it's going to go left, and b doesn't have an x or a y, it's going to go right. So I'm going to get b over a x plus y equals b. Now here's what I'm thinking about doing next. I see the way there's a b on the bottom, y over b. Ever see y over b? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to divide both sides by b, because b divided by b is 1. Then I'm going to do y over b, and I'm going to do b over ab. And that, dividing both sides by the same number works. Example, 10 plus 5 equals 15. If I divide both sides by 5, you're going to end up with 2 plus 1 equals 3. That's essentially what I'm doing here. The b's cancel. I'm going to be left with x over a. I'm going to be left with y over b. I'm going to be b over b is going to be 1. Bit of gibberish at the end, but look. You get most of the marks for attempting anyway. Next one. The line L has a slope of M and contains the point 6, 0. Write the equation of the line. Once again, it's looking for the equation of the line. Okay, it's looking for this. We have our x1 and y1 right here. We have our 0 and our 6. And then, quite simply, we're just going to get y equals mx minus 6m. And that is the equation of said line. Okay, I'm probably going to need this for part two. So I'm inclined to, to copy it. And let's see what part two brings up. Okay, the line L cuts... The line L cuts the line K, 4x plus 2 equals 25 at P. Find the coordinates of P in terms of M and give each coordinate in this fraction simplest form. Oof. Is this the line K? Write the equation of line L. This is line L. So right here, I have line L. The blue box is line L. Line K is the red box. So line K is 2Y equals 25. P is the, so the red line hits the blue line and there is a point of intersection and we're tasked with finding the coordinates of P, which is the point of intersection. This is usually resolved by doing a simultaneous equation. So I'm going to bring mx back to the left. So I'm going to get minus mx plus y equals minus 6m. 
Now it says in terms of m, so I'm just going to do a simultaneous equation like I do normally. Now I'm just going to get rid of the y value. So I'm going to, I'm going to multiply the black equation by minus 3. I'm going to get 4x plus 3y equals 25. It stays the same. And then I'm going to get a 3mx minus 3y equals 18m. And lo and behold, the y is cancelled. I'm going to be left with 4x plus 3mx equals 25 plus 18m. The whole goal of the question is to get x on its own because for the point of intersection, you need the x coordinate and the y coordinate. So I'm going to factorize out the x value. And it's been multiplied by 4 plus 3m. Then when I bring it over to your side, it's going to be clearly in the division. So it's going to be 25 plus 18m all over 4 plus 3m. So we know that the x coordinate is 25 plus 18m over 4 plus 3m. Next thing I'm going to do is the y coordinate. Now I'm going to go back to the original equation. Back to the original equation. And this time I'm going to get rid of the x values, not the y values. To get rid of the x values, I'm thinking is if I multiply the top equation by m and the bottom equation by 4. What will happen to the red equation is I'll get 4mx plus 3my equals 25m. And the bottom equation, which is the black equation, I'll get minus 4mx plus 4y equals minus 24m. The 4mx minus 4mx turns to zero. The x is cancelled. And I'm going to be left with a 3my plus 4y equals 1m. I'm going to factorize out y to get a 3m plus 4 equals 1m. And then y is quite simply going to be 1m over 3m plus 4. So I have the y value right there. It's going to be 1m over 3m plus 4. And there is my x and y coordinates. As per usual, I just check my answer. And we're all good. So question two is good to go. Perfect answers, no hassle.